so now we will learn about the different methods of the gene transfer among the bacteria so first of all we will learn about the transformation so transformation is the process of random uptake of free and naked dna fragments that's the simplest definition of the transformation that there is random uptake of free or naked dna fragment from the surrounding and then incorporation of that uh, uh, free dna into the uh, chromosome of the bacteria so that is called as the transformation once you see the diagram then you will understand it clearly the process of the transformation so see here we have got a dead bacteria and a live bacteria so after the death of that bacteria the dna fragments are getting released into the surrounding of the live bacteria after that this live bacteria is taking up these taking up these uh, dna fragments within it then it is getting incorporated into the dna of that live bacteria so this is a example or this is a diag diagrammatic representation of that transformation now we'll see that where do we see this transformation and what is the mechanism of that transformation so this transformation is seen in bacteria like streptococcus the bacillus haemophilus nigeria etc what is the mechanism the mechanism is simple that once a bacteria gets lysed there is large amount of double stranded dna getting released into the surrounding environment so after that that double stranded dna binds to the dna binding protein on the surface of a competent bacteria that double stranded dna is nicked by a nuclease enzyme that double stranded dna is nicked by nuclease enzyme and then one of the strands the one of the strands of that double stranded dna is internalized by competence specific protein please remember this name of that protein competence specific protein helps in the internalization of that particular one strand so one strand is internalized and then then that strand is incorporated into host cell chromosome after duplication so uh, remember that uh, double stranded dna is not internalized it is only one strand of that uh, dna free dna in the surrounding that is getting internalized into the particular live bacteria and then within the live bacteria it is getting duplicated and then getting incorporated into the host cell chromosome so this is the mechanism of the transformation here you should remember this competence specific protein which is helping in the internalization of that one strand of the free dna okay so this is the important protein that you should remember and you can also remember this dna binding protein on the surface of the bacteria which is helping in the binding of the double stranded dna to the live bacterial surface so this was the uh, transformation uh, this was the method i mean this is the uh, process of the uh, gene transfer that was uh, explained or uh, by the griffith by a uh, experiment so that experiment we all have uh, read about that experiment uh, in our class 12 uh, biology lessons so what was that uh, experiment let's see with a diagram so see here we have got a living strain of a bacteria which is living s strain is virulent okay and living r strain is non virulent why this uh, s is virulent because it is uh, capsulated so it is virulent and s refers to the smooth surface bacteria okay so that smooth surface bacteria is virulent because it is having capsules so uh, when this this type of living s strain of that particular bacteria is injected into the mouse the mouse get the mouse died after the injection of that living s strain but when the rough strain the r strain was injected into the mouse then the mouse lived mouse did not die but when the dead uh, s strain was uh, uh, injected into the mouse the mouse again lived it uh, the mouse uh, didn't die after that what the griffith did done that he mixed the dead s strain with the living r strain so see here when he mixed the when he mixed the uh, dead s strain then the 
chromosomes or the uh, dna of that dead s strain get uh, get outside of the s strain cells and then the r living r strain cells i mean the living r strain of that bacteria living r strain of the bacteria gets uh, uh, that uh, dna fragments from outside from that dead s strain of the bacteria so as the uh, uh, dna fragments from that uh, dead s strain of the bacteria get internalized into the uh, living r strain of the bacteria then that r strain bacteria become a s strain bacteria okay that r strain bacteria becomes a became a s strain bacteria and that kill the mouse hair that killed the mouse hair so this is the experiment that was done by griffith which explained the process of the transformation this is a very simple topic i hope you would uh, you all will not have any problem with this 